Hey everybody, Brent here with Autosport Labs with a new demo on the upcoming Race Capture app 2.0. So for this video, we'll show you a new feature that will really tie together all of the new capabilities in the dashboard that you've seen in the previous videos. So let's go to dashboard mode and check it out. So what you're looking at here is one of our preset views. This is a familiar three gauge panel. It's slightly different than what you've seen in the current version of the Race Capture app. But right now with this screen, you have three gauges, a prominent one in the middle and two flanking gauges. Right now, the screen is locked, so there's no way to edit or change these gauges. Well, what you can do is you can press the new gear button here. This is a, a, a central settings button that you can access and you can go and unlock this dashboard. Once you unlock the dashboard, you can see that there's a grid that will show the position and snap to for the gauges to move around. So you can see how that works. So let's go and set up these gauges with some channels so we can do yaw this is our favorite because we can easily pick up the race capture unit and illustrate some activity so we have yaw pitch and roll so I pick up the race capture unit that's next to me and here is some data flowing at 50 Hertz Now that, now that we're in edit mode, we can do some other things, like we can add another gauge. Let's just move these gauges up near the top. And we can go and add a gauge. Now let's take a look at the line chart. And let's look at, let's also look at yaw, pitch, and roll. So we have the immediate gauges showing the real-time data and then now and you're in dashboard mode we have a line chart that is showing some historical data some people might call this a spark line especially if it's like a small chart that's next to the gauge but here if I pick up the race capture unit move the data around you can see the data also update on the chart and then this chart in dashboard mode shows just a little bit of data so it just flows by on the screen so you can see some real-time updates all right we can add some other gauges like a digital gauge which just presents a different view of the same information in case you need that. We have a number of, of stock gauges and the way, the way this is laid out will allow us to add more gauges in the future. So just through a pluggable mechanism. So the other feature and the main feature that really ties this all together is the new preset manager. So if you're familiar with the existing presets on the Race Capture app, you'll know that you have presets for CAN bus mapping, for tracks, for sensor mappings, and so on. But now with the same preset framework, we've added the ability for you to select pre-made dashboards that you can just select and get going right away without having to design something from scratch. And what's really cool with this is you can select, a, select one of these dashboards and customize it. So if you wanted 
to make some changes, you can certainly do that. Let's say if you just wanted a particular layout, you can go and do that and then lock it. And then now you have a custom dashboard. And if it gets completely messed up, you can just go in and reselect the dashboard and you're back to where you were. Now let's take a look at one of the stock dashboards that we've provided. And that is the predictive timer screen. So the predictive timer screen is made up of a number of digital gauges. And here you have the predictive lap time. This is a specialized widget that shows a plus minus bar that grows. And if you're familiar with the existing race capture app, it's just like that one. Below it is the predictive time, the current predictive time. Your best lap shows up on the left. Your last lap time shows on the right. And then the number of laps is right in the middle. What we've added to this screen is the overall session time. When I was racing at Oregon Raceway Park last weekend, I found that this session time was super valuable. And I didn't really get it until, until I was experiencing it for myself. We got feedback from other race capture users that said, you know, it would be really good to know my session time. So this is a timer that just starts and starts when a session starts and then increments up. If you need to reset it, go to reset session and now it starts counting up again from the beginning. Now just like with all the other dashboards, this is fully editable so you can go and customize it. Let's say if you wanted to change the color of the background color of the predictive time, you can do that. Let's see what's the color we haven't used yet. Ooh, red. Let's do that. So now we have a red predictive time indicator. Another scanned dashboard screen that we have is the raw channels view. The raw channels view is just like what you've seen in the current version of the race capture app. It's just all of the channels on the screen for easy access. You can see everything at a glance. This raw channel screen is just like any other gauge where you can you can resize it, you can make it a little bit smaller and maybe put something else off to the side. Oops. So let's add another gauge. Oh, what do we got? Let's add a we could do uh, we another, add another digital gauge and add session time here. And you could just stack up some additional gauges as you see fit. So yeah, so what really ties this together is that through the presets and through the dashboard customizations, you'll be able to create any kind of layout that you want. To get new dashboard layouts, you just press the update button and that'll pull down the latest, latest that we've provided online. Now what's really cool in the future is that we will add the ability for you to create your own dashboard layouts. Let's say if you have a custom screen you want to make, you'll be able to design that screen and then you'll be able to save that screen to your personal presets. And then what you can do is once that's saved up in the cloud, then you'll be able to go to another device, let's say your phone or a tablet in the car, pull down that preset, and then be able to quickly import it. So you could design it on your desktop, import it on your phone, and then you'll have it right there. And you could still make edits on your phone if you need to, but this allows you to just create and share your layouts across your devices.
Now this will this may not be in the race capture 2.0 beta because we do want to get it out to you as soon as possible, but it is something that we want to do and we feel that'll just really bring it full circle. I could do a, another demo of a this is a traction 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 circle. <laughs> it's early. And now I'm moving the race capture unit around and this will show a kind of a real time traction circle. Maybe not the most useful thing in real time, but a lot of people have su surprisingly quite a few people have asked for this feature, so it's another gauge you can do what you want. It's like Burger King. This will on the right side there is a track map. Uh, again, you can go in and edit it to your heart's content and make your own dashboard screen. One thing to note is that when the dashboard is locked, you'll be able to swipe left and right to switch screens. If the dashboard is not locked, then clicking and moving will edit one of the gauge positions or resizing or, or whatever. When you're done editing, of course, you'll want to lock the screen, which will be suitable for race mode. All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed this update and we're pretty close to getting this out to you in beta. Uh, the next video will focus on the new analysis capabilities, which are just as substantial as these, this dashboard update, quite possibly even more so. So uh, watch out for that and we'll catch you next time. Thanks a lot.